Welcome to the Lone Star State, or Texas as it is commonly known. Texas is known as a Lone Star State due to the one Lone Star on the Texas flag. Our first stop is in Montgomery, Texas, one of the oldest towns in Texas. The city of Montgomery is known as the birthplace of the Texas flag. In 1839, Dr. Charles B. Stewart created the design of the flag. President Miramu B. Lamar signed the approval of the flag in 1839, and since then it has been proudly waving from flagpoles across Texas. An interesting fact is that President Lamar signed the design of the flag for approval upside down. So the way we see the flag today is actually upside down. Our next landmark is in the city of San Antonio. The Battle of the Alamo is one of the most famous battles in Texas, and it was also a horrendous defeat. Santa Ana decided he needed to take the Alamo so that all would know his military superiority. The Mexican army of 6,000 arrived on February 23rd of 1836. 250 defended the Alamo. The Mexican army stormed the Alamo on March 6th, killing almost everyone. Our next two landmarks are in our state capital, Austin, Texas. The state capitol building is in Austin. This $3 million building took six years to build. It was finished in 1888. The pink color of the building is due to the color of the granite used to build it, called Red Sunset. In 1990, restoration was done on the Capitol and an extension was added that is totally underground. The Goddess of Liberty stands on top of the Capitol Dome and a great walk leads up to the Capitol. The Governor's Mansion is located near the Capitol in Austin, Texas. It is known to be one of the most historic houses in Texas and has been the Governor's Mansion since 1856. That's over 150 years. It has served home as past governors, including Sam Houston, George W. Bush, Rick Perry, and Greg Abbott. The home has withstood many trials and tribulations, including renovations, repairs, and a fire in 2008. This landmark is truly one of a kind. The next Texas landmark we will show you is in Huntsville, Texas. Huntsville is the home of Sam Houston. He became a major figure in Texas and was elected as the first and third president of the Republic of Texas. He was also a lawyer. He supported annexation by the United States and after annexation in 1845, he became a U.S. Senator and finally governor of Texas in 1859, whereby Sam Houston became the only person to have become a governor of two different U.S. states through popular election, as well as the only state governor to have been a foreign head of state. The last landmark we will show you is in Laporte, Texas. The San Jacinto Monument is in Laporte. It commemorates the site where Texas troops surprised the Mexican army camped there. And in 1836, they shouted the historic phrase, Remember the Alamo! and defeated the rebel force in 18 minutes. This monument is dedicated to the heroes of the Battle of San Jacinto and all others who contributed to Texas independence. This monument is the tallest stone memorial structure in the world. It is 15 feet taller than the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. We hope that you have enjoyed a look at some of the landmarks in the state of Texas and are ready to learn more about each one.